Right now we're going to turn to the investigation into the terrifying moments at thunder over Michigan after a plane crash during the air show in Washtenaw County. Yeah, the pilot of the Russian MiG-23 jet ejected shortly after takeoff from Willow Run Airport. That jet crashed into the parking lot of the Waverly on the Lake Apartments. The pilot and another occupant in the plane were pulled from Belleville Lake and taken to the hospital. Right now, investigators with the National Transportation Safety Board are working to figure out exactly what happened. They held a press conference earlier today. The first uh, phase of the accident, um, we've documented the scene, uh, the accident scene here, and, and we will, uh, we're arranging to have a recovery crew uh, come get the airplane so that we can do further examination off site. Now the pilot of the jet is still on the mend in the hospital and he talked exclusively with 7 Action News reporter Simon Shaket about his recovery and his message about the crash. Here in Van Buren Township as work continues to clean up the wreckage of a crashed Russian aircraft here right behind us following an air show. We're learning more about the pilot. A day after viral video from the Thunder Over Michigan Air Show was shot, the pilot, who was one of two who ejected and parachuted out, told us by phone he's grateful to all who've expressed concern for him and his other occupant. If you're able to share just something as far as how you're feeling. Looking ahead, he added, I'm really hoping to get discharged today. While the cause of the crash is still unknown, we're learning the pilot, retired U.S. Navy Lieutenant Commander Daniel Filer, collects Soviet-made fighter jets. Usually when uh, somebody sees a Red Star, um, it's one of a former uh, Soviet Union person, and they go, why do you have our aircraft? And I said, well, it's not your aircraft anymore, it's mine. This Russian MiG, the NTSB says, dates back to 1981, marked with a Red Star of the Soviet Union. A far cry from Filer's day job of flying commercial planes. Based on an interview he gave to TV station KTBS one year ago. I kind of miss the upside down flying, pulling G's. It's very difficult for us as taxpayers, even though we already bought these airplanes, to own them privately. Other countries' airplanes, you can almost go up to the assembly line and buy them. Filer lives in East Texas, has flown for decades, and often appears at air shows. By phone telling me after what unfolded, his first thought was of all the people in the area of the crash. Filer adding, I'm glad that nobody got hurt. It's the first thing we asked, and we're so happy about that. The NTSB plans to issue another update on their investigation within 10 days. The EPA also assessing any environmental concerns based on the explosion and fuel which caught fire. Again, the NTSB verifying the pilot has serious injuries, but not life-threatening. The other occupant of that aircraft has minor injuries. From Van Buren Township, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you. And we are following the latest on the crash at Thunder Over, Michigan. Be sure to stay with 7 Action News for updates both on air and on our website, WXYZ.com.